Upside form from Aaron Puga. Hello, guys. This one is for Q and uh, for Q and Jason, or even Jeff and Adam. They want to answer this as well. Yes, this is a good question. I've actually I've actually thought about this one, Aaron. If Hertz is deemed the starter for the future, how like how likely do you think he'll be able to play seventeen games uh, consistently in his career? Seventeen full games consistently, of course. I feel that at some point he's going to have to change his playing style, similar to what McNabb did, and focus more on being a better passer than a runner to prolong his career. If you don't change at some point, now Michael Vick was smaller, six feet even. But the guys who run, Steve Young went through this. He, his career ended because of a, a missed chip on, uh, by Lawrence Phillips. But you know, Steve Young had the major concussion issue. At some point, it's going to catch up with you if you continue to run. It just, it just is. you gotta, you got, got to become more of a passer. So it's a great question. And what, what do you think? Like, it's impossible to say what year that would be, right? Like what, at what point do you stop doing it or, 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 or lower it, the amount of times you'd run? Well, I feel like it goes hand in hand. I mean, I think that the idea that Jalen Hurts needs to develop as a passer isn't just to avoid injury, but it's also to mature into a pocket quarterback who can hurt you in the passing game, not just to avoid injury. And, you know, Hurts, yeah, I know the pictures are out there. He's, you know, he looks jacked up and that's great, but he's also only six foot one. Mm -hmm. He's a pretty elusive runner. He's a really, he looks like a runner. He's a downhill runner. He's not explosive like Vic would have been. Right. But in this in this market, man, he's he's very much downhill now. He got some shiftiness. McNabb was a little shifty. Uh, McNabb, you know, it, I know some people said he's closer to six one and then six two, but mm-hmm. McNabb was more of a runner, obviously, when he started. We 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 remember that. And then he became more of a passer. And was he MVP one year in the NFL? Donovan McNabb? Yeah. I think he was runner up in 2000, okay. uh, the 2004 when they went okay. to the Super Bowl. Yeah, because I know he definitely, you know, first four or five years, there was one year he was a, he, it's a monster year. But yeah, but no, it's a, it, it's a great question, Aaron. And that's one that I've, I've thought about recently looking at the Eagles roster and what's, what's it going to take. Uh, in fact, it's, that's the next question from uh, someone from uh, Facebook, which we'll get to. But does he have to stop running? Because that's part of, not stop, but does he have to run less? That's part of what makes him different because if he becomes a better passer and you've got your feet, you, you got something potentially really, really good, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I would agree with you. You know, I think the running will always be a part of his game when it needs to be as he develops as a passer, but it, 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 it can't be. I don't think they can run the style of offense that they ran for a few weeks last year before he got hurt, of course, which was the designed run, uh, you know, uh, uh, RPO style offense for the entirety of his career that that's not going to to be good um they, they they he can't run designed runs six seven eight times a game and be the leading rusher he was the leading wasn't he the eagles leading rusher last year uh yes in attempts and yardage i think yeah that that yeah. cannot be the case when you you've got aj that's brown right. you got Devonte smith you have the dallas goddard uh, that really can't be the case he's got to well, uh, like any quarterback got to develop and use those weapons they would not be happy. You know, I said this before. He won't be the starter if this ha- if if by midseason mm-hmm. the running team. This is not this th- that definitely will not happen. There you go. All right, next it, question. Okay, I, I was just going to say if it winds up happening, someone's getting benched because mm-hmm. that's not what this owner wants. Everybody knows this. I I, I appreciate that Jeffrey Lurie didn't get involved last year. You know where you know the athletic article article that was great. Pete, the great note that they beat Green Bay on the road, but he wants to know why they ran it so much. <laughs> hey, we know what they we get it. He yeah. wants them to be a throwing team, but to their credit, everyone stayed out of it. Let Sirianni make the call to switch from a passing team to a running team because quarterback can can handle it. Okay, that's year one. Now you're the second year system, as we noted on our, our previous show. He's starting to get a doing better job with his timing. And when it when a quarterback sees it better, they're they're less likely to run.